Make it chatter, beautiful peoples! How's everyone on this side of the camera? I hope everyone is doing well. Everyone on this side of the camera is doing well. No club plans. Y'all already know what video we're gonna do for y'all beautiful people today because y'all press that little button. But Miss Brandon is gonna tell y'all just a little bit more, just a little bit more of what we're gonna watch or react for y'all or what y'all gonna watch us react to. You know what I mean. There you go, Miss Brandon. Thanks, Mother. Mm -hmm. So I kind of don't need an introduction for this, but I kind of do. But if you guys watched last week's video, we did Dave Chappelle's uh, 3 a.m. in a guest hole. The same person who requested that, Christopher Lopez, also requested today's video. And this was like their second request on it now. I do not know who this is. Do you know no, who this I is? No, I do not. Woo! Do I know who this is? But you know Black what's good. Let's close in Harlem. We always get introduced to new people, so that's also good. Mm -hmm. But let's just get into it and see what he got to say about some black friends. That's right. Clothes in Harlem, up in New York City. Do a little giggle, giggle, and a little piggle, piggle. I'm kind of excited for this stuff. Me too. <laughs> we don't know. What's his name? Christopher. Actually, I got a couple of uh, friends of uh, African persuasion. We're gonna know and, uh, I gotta get rid of them, man. I gotta admit to you. I'm fine. I'm spending too much money on clothes, hanging out with them. Cause I gotta like fucking try to keep up with their wardrobe. It's like every time they go out, they got all brand new shit on. All brand new shit. So when I show up with my white version of brand new, which is, you know, I basically, I ironed the shit, right? Mm -hmm. I ironed it, right? It's new. They just start trashing me. I can't keep up with them, man. They got like fucking 58 pairs of sneakers. <laughs> Ever notice that shit? Like every color fucking Timberland. And I don't give a shit what fucked up color their shirt is. They got a pair of shoes to match it and a hat. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a rule or something. They're the worst. Even when you wear some new shit, there's like some sort of rule that you gotta like space out the amount of time with, within which like that you wear it. Because God forbid you wear the same shirt within a 10-day period, one of them's going to notice. All of a sudden, just look at you funny like, this motherfucker's got the same shit we had on last Tuesday. And then the whole car's like, oh, shit! <laughs> then everybody just starts making fun of your fucking clothes. First, they do the math. Like, what was that, five days ago? Five days, this motherfucker got five shirts. He got five shirts. They start breaking it down. Yo, his first shirt be saying Monday. His next shirt be saying Tuesday. Yo, on the weekend, he ain't be wearing no shirt. I'll tell you, that's actually funny. You know what? That's actually how, uh, how I judge black guys now. When I first came to the city, like, all black people scared me. No, I was like the typical white dude from, like, the suburbs. You know what I mean? I had no frame of reference, you know? So my only frame of reference with black people was, like, those, remember those early 90s gangster rap videos? Throw the fucking LA riots in there, man. It was fucking horrible PR. I'm watching the videos. Look, he's got a nice car, he's got all the women, and he's still fucking mad. These black dudes are never happy. But after 10 years of living in the city, this is how I narrow it down. Whether well, black dude scares me or not. Black dudes with dirty sneakers scare the fucking shit out of me. No. Figure it out in my head, because I know from hanging out with them, that's the last shit that they're going to let go, the immediate shit that they have on. So I think, you know, if his sneakers are fucked up, that means his life is fucked up. Every time he leaves his building, the whole neighborhood, oh, shit! <laughs> Everyone starts making fun of him. He's on the train in a bad mood. I kind of have this howdy-doody, kind of mug-me kind of face. <laughs> I'm not saying something's going to happen. I'm just saying, I'm paying attention. So I've been seeing this girl recently, uh, this black girl, right? She lives up in Harlem, you know, gone out like three, four times, you know. First time we hung out, we hung out in like the village area in New York, you know, which is sort of like a racially mixed area. <laughs> so shit was cool, you know what I mean? Second time we hung out was more like midtown, you know. Then the third time, she called me at like 3.30 in the morning, and she wanted me to come up to her apartment, right? So it's 3.30 in the morning, she lives in Harlem, I look how I look, so it's a fucking situation. <laughs> Cause you know the deal, right? Basically a white dude feels comfortable up to about like 98th, 99th street, you know what I'm saying? The second the streets start getting into like triple digits, like 100, 101st street, start getting like a little asthma, I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, it's not getting a little high up here. You feel that little tightness in your chest? Can you feel that? 
106th Street, you're like leaning on shit. Like, dude, where'd all the cabs go? <laughs> How come there's no taxis up here? <laughs> dude, what's a bodega? <laughs> I don't know what that is. Let's get, let's get the fuck out of here. So I'm praying to God she's going to tell me to take the subway, get off at like 105th Street, 103rd, you know, which is like the first stop in Harlem where I can still look over my shoulder and see like all the white people like disappearing over the horizon, you know? <laughs> but she goes, no, man, you want to get on the Uptown 2-3 train, you want to get off at 125th Street. I'm like, ah, fuck, 125th Street. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's like right in the middle of everything. <laughs> I'm going to be surrounded on all four sides. I can't fucking do this. <laughs> <laughs> so, at this point, I'm really trying to hide, like, the bitchy tone that's starting to creep into my voice, you know? And I'm trying to ask for really specific directions for when I get up there, because I want to know exactly where I'm going. So she starts naming the streets I have to go down, and every other street up there is named after, like, a black leader, you know? She's like, make a left on Adam Clayton, take a right on Frederick Douglass. I'm like, ah, fuck Adam Clayton. <laughs> no, dude, go on the internet, look up Adam Clayton. Did he kill a bunch of white people during a slave revolt? <laughs> Dude, I ain't going up there till I know what Adam Clayton did. Fuck this shit. <laughs> so at this point, I'm really having a battle with myself. Because I'm thinking I can't do this, right? I'm like, I can't do this, but my dick's going, no, come on, man, we can do this, all right? <laughs> Just relax. Pull yourself together and get on the goddamn train, right? So as always, I listen to my dick. <laughs> oh yeah, I get on the train. By the time I get up there, it's like five or four in the morning, right? I'm staying on like Malcolm X and like Danny Glover or some shit, right? I don't even know where the hell I'm at. But I see the street I want to go up. I want to go up St. Nick. I can literally see her apartment building. But there's like five or six black dudes standing right on the corner, right where I want to walk by. So I'm like, fuck! I thought I was on like some reality show at that point, like some sort of like white guy survivor. He was ridiculous. <laughs> so I'm thinking I gotta walk right by these guys, right? You know what's funny? I think that they were actually more surprised to see me than I was scared, you know? And I was really, really scared, you know? But I'm also really, really white, you know? Like shockingly Caucasian. You know what I mean? Like if you're not ready for me, I can like surprise you. <laughs> No, especially if you live up there, you've probably seen a white person for hours, possibly days. So when I show up, it's almost like magical. Like a leprechaun came out of nowhere, you know? I felt like I should have like a little pot of gold, like a rainbow behind me. Top of the morning to you, Latin. Kind of dance my way past them. But it's been going all right, you know? Once I get in her apartment, I'm fine, you know? I relax. Sit down, you know, watch a hip-hop countdown. <laughs> <laughs> Pretend like I know the groups, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's just getting there that's a fucking pain in the ass. But, you know, I don't get mad at it, because I figure, you know, black dudes got to go through the same shit, though, right? When you go out to the suburbs, go fuck a white girl, right? <laughs> just that same awful feeling of just leaving your people behind, you know, just less and less of you as you're fucking driving out there. Probably start off lean and you're all fucking cool. 20 minutes in, you're driving like 10 and 2 the rays up. Like, dude, I don't like this shit. I don't like this shit at all. There's too much grass. I don't see any rims. This is fucked up. None of the windows are tinted. I can clearly see white people in every car. This is fucked up. Listen, you guys were awesome. Thank you so much for coming out. God bless you. Thank you very much. All right, man. Take that was pretty good. I really, really, really enjoyed it. And like Brandy said, that was our first time watching him, and I wouldn't mind watching him again and again. He is hilarious. He's hilarious. Thank you, Christopher Lopez. Now this mama is trying to remember names. No his matter name, his name is kind of easy to remember though. Uh, no matter what he said, I still want to go to New York for some reason. I always wanted to go to go to New York just to visit New York because you'd be seeing mm -hmm. New York on places and like that. But I still want to go. But tell why, as he was saying it, I told y'all I'd be listening and I'd be picturing stuff when I see him walking, getting off the train, uh, trying to walk up to front of people. I don't know why I was thinking like a building was one of those tall buildings uh, that you always see in mm -hmm. um, in the movies and stuff. 
but I liked it. He did a good job. Mm -hmm. That was the first time I ever seen. I, he looked familiar, like I might have seen him on something, or mm -hmm. maybe just like when I was searching for people, he kind of popped up. But that was our first time. Me and Mom both said that, mm -hmm. but you guys should know. But I think he did a good job. Whole crowd was laughing, so it must mean he did a really good job mm -hmm. uh, for that one. But I liked it. Mm -hmm. I did too. He had me over here crying laughing. He is hilarious. I enjoyed him. Like I said, if it's not Christopher Lopez that requests him, it it don't matter. Anybody could request him again. And I love to, um, to watch him. Uh, so I hope y'all enjoyed it just as well as we did. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thanks to each and every person to take time out to watch our videos and also subscribe to our channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, no, yeah. Uh, even though that we say the name of the person that requests uh, a video. If y'all just want y'all name to be shout out, then just let us know. Put it down in the comments and we'll make it happen. Mm -hmm. We'll make it happen! My nostrils creep running. I don't know why. I was looking to see it. So I think somebody else requested him too. Mm -hmm. Or maybe I'm just tripping, tripping. Oh no, somebody else requested another one for him. Oh, so wow. we'll be seeing him again. Uh, Later on, as we do more reactions, but uh, thank you once again for today's beautiful person for requesting today's uh, beautiful video. Don't forget to check out last video, we did another comedian reaction, but that time we did you want to say it? Dave Chappelle 3 a.m. ghetto in the ghetto, in the ghetto. There we go. Mm -hmm. Mama say words, she forgets some words, but it's all that. So go check out last week's video. Hopefully, it's up. If not, um, I'll say if it's whether it's on our Facebook page or not. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, go check that out. Go check out our actual reaction channel, which is just Brittany and Maxine. This is not our reaction channel. We just do some reaction videos over here. The people request we like switch it up from reaction to other videos. So uh, go ahead and check that out. So check out our reaction channel. Go check out our reaction playlist. We have some other comedic reactions, co mm -hmm. comedy reactions, comedic, whatever you want to call it. We have a playlist, a reaction playlist. So go ahead and check that out. Um, so I think that's it. So I think that's it for this good old video. This good old Sunday. Hopefully your Sunday is going well. It is the first Sunday into June. So hopefully your June is going uh just as great as ours. Mm -hmm. Right. That's right. Right. Uh, so don't forget to spread love, spread joy, and be the lightest way it's like because we all need it once in a while. So don't forget to say beautiful, say blessed, say you, say G, and say but I'm glad them. And the pimp player for them, them I'll see y'all next video. Y'all have a beautiful day, beautiful people, and be safe, safe. Safe. Yes. Peace. Peace. Toodles. Bye.